Welcome, Life Rage 2012, to the Seven Days to Diner. Okay, so you're going to have to excuse seven the fact that you're here in that designer, family, in, that designer in the background because so I am playing design. while he is filming his live stream and yeah, listening to yeah, his live stream. And wasn't planning on filming anything else tonight, but I just came in from outside and there is a chicken trying to break into my gun safe. You ate them all. This is a ballistic chicken, and it's about to be dinner. Good morning, fellow survivors. I'm starting from this beautiful sunrise here. I just love the lights. I mean, I know I'm getting a little, you know, Ron Goey on us here, but, you know, there's, there's something to be said for a game that works well and looks good. So, there's that. Um, you're going to notice that we're on like day 47 on the server, which is kind of cool. And you haven't seen content from me in a while, which is kind of bad. Uh, part of the reason is I basically film in uh, two-hour batches uh, twice a week to, to get all the content that I need. So on a server like this, one of the major differences from server play to solo play is the world keeps moving whether you're on it or not. So, in the interim time, you know, a day goes by, a day is 24 real hours, which in this case is like 16 game hour, uh, 16 game days. So, boom, there you go. Uh, also, uh, I had a technical issue where a two-hour block of video did not render, which is why you did not find out about the wonderful, glorious combat, as Midnight Designer would say, that we had to get to to get this spot, uh, which is relatively close to this city right here. Um, so there's that. That's somebody's got a bed in there. I wonder whose it is. Anyway, so yeah, so that's that. And then there was another day where I came in and someone had actually ransacked my place and taken a bunch of stuff. And I really didn't want to be filming that because that was not the most positive that I could be. So, um, yeah, uh, it's not a big deal. I'm not upset at what was taken because literally what was taken took me a half hour to replace. That's not the big deal. The big deal is on a server like this, which is pretty much all, you know, friends and pseudo family kind of mentality. Th there's no need for that, guys. Like, if you're somebody that is stuck and needs help, especially with the stuff that was taken, like a cooking pot and food and water and some basic weapons, if you had asked in chat, if I was on, you would have been hooked up. If the Stacho was on, you would have been hooked up. There's a bunch of people that will hook you up and will help you get better at this game. Um, don't take anybody else's stuff. It's it's not cool, and it doesn't look good on Midnight Designer, and that's really the most upsetting part about the whole thing. So if you need help, if you're stuck, if you're like, hey, I'm dying of thirst, what do I do? I don't know how to do the game, what do I do? Do not be afraid to ask in chat for help because you know we all are here to help each other excel and if you're that stuck and you're that embarrassed to ask for help yeah come in and try to get my stuff it's fine I can replace it but that doesn't help you get better at the game and honestly if somebody needed help that badly I can give you better stuff than what you took so don't worry about it um, also if it was someone that's new to the game and doesn't know what some things look like, that's cool. But I just want to give you a quick little um, uh, newbie moment here on something that a lot of veteran players do that new players might not know. And that could also have been part of the problem. So you'll see that this house has had all of the doors removed. That is because the way zombies are coded, zombies path to doors. I literally had an episode that I filmed in Alpha 14 where I showed a zombie ignoring me to beat on the door next to me because zombies path to doors. So a lot of your more veteran players are going to remove doors from their houses and then they're going to put a hole in the wall like this, which is not a door. It's a way in, but it's not a door. So zombies don't notice it. And then what they do 
is they go and they do this. Boom. Two wood frames right in the doorway. Or what should be a doorway. Uh, I go so far as to never put it in the doorway so that it's more obvious. But a lot of people will just put it right there and be done with it so it doesn't mess with the, the feng shui of the house. Um, but um, just so you know, if you guys ever see wood frames that can be picked up like that, sitting in a wall, that means somebody put them there. Unlike boarded up windows, which can be occurring in the game naturally, removable wood frames do not occur in any POI currently. So if you ever see something you can pull out, you know a player owns it. If you ever get in and see storage boxes mounted on a wall, that's another sign that that's a player's stuff. Um, campfires, I've never seen them on an item, but sometimes you'll see them on the floor and that's normally generated, so that's no big deal. Uh, also, stairs pulled out with wood frames or ramps put in, also another good sign that a player is living there. So if you ever see any of that stuff, that's generally a red flag. Now, as far as taking over POIs, this server doesn't have any rules on it. I'm kind of okay, especially if you're stuck. If you come in, pull down the wood frames, go around and hit all the stuff that spawns, that's cool. Just do me a favor and on your way out so that I don't get attacked by zombies because I don't know that my base has been entered. Make sure to put my door back for me. I'd really appreciate it. Um, that being said, that was six minutes more than I really wanted to spend on this topic, but I think it's important. Um, number one, if you if you were the person that came in, don't tell me. I don't want to know. I don't care. Hopefully, what you took is going to make it easier for you to survive the game and get more enjoyment out of it. Like I said, literally, I replaced it within a half hour. It's not a big deal. Um... But if that stuff was a big deal for you, that means there's stuff that people on this server can teach you about how to play the game. Please take us up on the offer. Let us help you have more fun. That's all I'm saying. Um, that being said, uh, we're going to leave the house for now. We're going to hit the town, and I'm going to get my shooting on and get some more supplies, and then maybe just maybe actually start um, construction on what's going to be the crew's new base camp. So hang tight. I'll see you guys in a minute once we get to town. And let's go have some fun. Okay, guys, can I tell you, this is my favorite, favorite biome. And it's because it is so creepy. But just give it a moment. Let it sink in. You've got that low resonating wind. You've got a zombie nearby. Everything looks bleak. Like this is like sleepy hollow quality bleak right here. If you want something that typifies your zombie hunting experience, this is the place. We did such a good job here. Can't get enough bird chests. All right, so it's been a little while since we've been here. Let's see. Someone else has been through here, which is probably that other person that's based in town. Which is fine. Don't want to hog it all to myself. I mean, well, I do, but... Oh, you missed one. Take it. 
Did it reset? No. Okay. That's got another good uh, newbie point. Uh, I'll see if it'll do it here. If something has already been searched by somebody, and then you pull the thing out, there you go. Give it a second, and it's researchable. So if you open something and see some really crappy treasure in there, grab it, because something good might follow up a half second later. That happens a lot. See, nothing in there. Okay. That one's just done. Scrap. We have a guy who likes wearing the nerdy glasses. Some of this is just honestly cleaned out, which is cool too. I mean, I didn't intend this entire video to be tutorial stuff, but you know, I figured while I was already, you know, in teacher mode, might as well do some teaching. And you know what? I know this is going to look nuts. But nobody's going to care about me taking all this glass. So, glass will be coming. I'll come back and get the rest later. There we go. So now also, you know, while we're sitting here doing the doing the game tutorial business. I don't care. Um, I stopped breaking this card around 34. Uh, the reason is, is I don't want to actually break the car because if I do, nobody else can try to grab stuff out of it. I still want a chance to get an engine and all of those wonderful goodnesses that hide in cars. But I don't want to do it at the expense of that last hit. Now, by stopping there, these cars are still searchable. So somebody else can come in and try to grab stuff out of it later.
I hate ladders. Nothing up here. Don't mind if I do. We got too much stuff. I'm just going to head back and do a dump and then come back around. Well, first, I'm going to shoot a nurse. Oh, lady! Doink! There you are. I heard you. Faster, do it faster. Doink. All right. Um, you're gonna notice I did something a little bit different on my bar there, and I've got two types of ammo for the two weapons that I'm carrying right on the bar. Um. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. I mean, obviously it compromises what you can jump to, but realistically, I I'm pretty much only planning on ever going to one tool at a time, and I usually know which one it is. So I'm not too worried about the lost space. But I was thinking, with this server being one where what's on your hot bar comes with you when you die, it makes sense to have your ammunition and your guns both able to come with you. So, obviously, I don't want to have, you know, a whole rigmarole down there, but I'm thinking one or two might not be too bad. So I'm going to try it out. Uh, if anybody else has done that before and had success and or failure with it, uh, wants to tell me about it, uh, feel free to post it down in the comments below on the video, and uh, I will happily entertain whatever stories you decide to impart. Nice! Gunpowder? Not gonna turn down glass. Alright, so I was really hoping to get in a good street fight. Like last time we were in this town, we got wrecked with the number of zombies that showed up. Um, however, that was also the first time anyone had been in this town. 
And obviously somebody else has taken up residence. So... So instead of wave after wave of Zeds coming at me, it's looking like the place is pretty empty. Which is unfortunate. I, I usually like to have a good amount of combat in the show because I know people get excited about it. And it gives me an opportunity to, you know, throw in some music. But... Doesn't look like it's going to happen this time around. Let's see, have we finished clearing the entire town on the map? No, we have not. Let me at least do that. I have received a friend invite from Midnight Designer. Did you guys see that? You guys saw that, right? I have. I know there's somebody sneaking up on me. I have a friend invite from Midnight Designer. Oh, bucket list. I hear more. Boink. Rock spoiled my perfect doink. Ooh. This is more like it. Dost, I will get back to you in just a moment, sir. Come on. Give me more. Give me more. No! I just started to feel the jazz. See this right here? This is what uh, Run NPCs wants. She wants the desert on a horse with no name, so that she can collect all the yucca. <laughs> nice! That's a nice pistol to find just sitting around next to his crappy sandwich. Doink, doink. Of course not. Alright, what are we getting rid of? See, I feel like this was her starter chili, and she didn't make it. But at least she did not eat her starter chili. So, there's that. I'm not going to lie, I I'm going to have a hard time eating any chili on this server. Alright, so here's what we're doing. Ready? We're gonna go... Ooh, I'm getting hungry. That ain't good. Alright, so we're gonna go up this hill, and we're gonna see something spectacular, and then that's what we're gonna do in the next episode. Ready? Are you liking this idea? I'm liking this idea. I think it's a great idea. Up until there's nothing on the other side of the hill. Here we go. Getting ready for the big chicken. Chicken, 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 chicken. chicken. That's a spider chicken.
Boom goes the head. Oh! And she sticks the landing. And our reveal is nothing. Nothing over the hill. I'm going to get over there just to see if that's a something. Hey, you should be dead. Like that. There you go. Do you have an engine? No, but I'll take gunpowder. All right, so there's a POI path there, which leads to something. And that something is going to be spectacular. And that's where we're going to end the episode, because the last reveal didn't work. So this one's going to. So here's our big finish. And a water tower. All right, that's about as much as we're going to do. So I want to thank everybody for stopping by and enjoying the shenaniganry today. Um, if you've enjoyed what you've seen, please smash that like button for me. If you would like to see shenaniganry on a regular basis, please subscribe to my channel. I have shenaniganry in multiple flavors, including zombies here with Seven Days to Die, dinosaurs with Ark, um, and whatever else I'm playing recently. Oh, Osiris New Dawn, I've been doing some of that. And uh, so I got some... Alien Matt Damon style shenaniganry going on. And once again, I just want to thank you all for tuning in. Um, if you are interested in playing on this server, please look in the um, show notes below. You will si see a link to the Patreon account for Midnight Designer. All it takes. Oh, poor rabbit. Poor me. All right. You get what you get, rabbit. Oh, whoa. Let's, let's, let's not go down that way. Um, all it takes is a $5 monthly Patreon subscription. You will help out a really awesome YouTuber, and you'll get to play on a really cool map with a bunch of other awesome people. So once again, thank you all for being here. Find a safe place to bed down. I hope the zombies and the lack of anything exciting over the next hill don't get you. And I will see you all in the morning. Ah, here we go. Surprise! Cactus. Gotta watch it, man. Those cactuses. They'll kill you.